Okay, so my parents have this Asus X502C, and it quite stopped working on them. Stopped working on them. So I took it apart, and uh, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. I understand this is like a low-grade laptop and everything, but the amount of stuff they went through to make this thing so low cost is to me unbelievable like the battery it's built inside so I don't see an easy way you have to take all this apart you have to take this thing off which has a billion screws holding it on just to replace the battery pack um, the issue with it here I'll plug it in there's some stuff disconnected now, but the problem with it is All right, let's not be. That's all it does. And the lights that are coming on are power, Wi-Fi, numlock, whatever. I'm think it's an error message, right? As a Asus, whatever you call it, does not release the codes for this, so I have no clue. Um, now, even the hard drive. You look at it. Okay, I thought there was going to be a decent hard drive in this thing. It's a piece of crap HGST. I don't even know who makes it. 320 gig, not bad. 5400 RPM, blah. Slow. Um, yeah, so as you can see, that's the RAM. I believe that's the RAM. Um, you can't add RAM to this. You can't remove it to see if it's the reason why it's not booting up, if it's a bad chip in there. You can't do anything with it. I mean, this is basically the whole board. This is the whole shebang right here. Here's the underside. There's your processor. There was a cell coin to retain the memory. Um, of course, CPU soldered directly in. No socket. Yeah, I'm not... I mean, you know, I understand this was a budget laptop, but still, for 300 bucks, you think they could put something a little better in this thing. Um, I don't even know what processors has. On this thing, it just says Ivy Bridge Dual Core. Uh, it's probably a Core 2 Duo. If possibly. I doubt they even went that far. So, yeah, um... At this point, I think I'm just going to junk this thing because I can't fix it. It's not worth fixing. I just noticed that is a LiPo. It's not lithium ion, it's lithium polymer, which... I would not use on a laptop, personally, but, you know... Questionable why they used it. It seems pretty flat, so it didn't puff. I may actually steal that out of this thing if I'm going to scrap it. But yeah, just to show you the quality of laptops today, I mean, don't buy one of these, please, people. Do yourself a favor and buy, like, a decent used uh, commercial grade. So, okay, thanks.